We're back for some Face the Facts with Max Reese Extra with uh, State Representative Mike France. Mike, we, we, we were speaking earlier. Do you think that if you were to poll this issue, that more people are actually in favor of the death penalty as opposed to having it repealed or keeping it off the books? Well, the polling that was most recent in Quinnipiac was in the time of when it was repealed. Right. And it was about 68% of Connecticut residents did not want it repealed. They also uh, asked it separately for the 11, if you were doing perspective, they didn't want that changed either. Uh, the challenge is that the legislature should have known uh, that there's no way that it to that, to, to that end, do, do you think that that was a misleading effort then politically that perhaps behind closed doors they knew that there was probably going to be a chance that the 11 on death row were never going to actually get executed? I would say it would be disingenuous for me to say no. I, I believe that behind the scenes they certainly suspected if they didn't know for certain uh, it was greater odds that it would be uh, not allowed to be just prospective. Uh, it would be disparate treatment and as that, that's exactly what the uh, Supreme Court ruled is that it was um, not fair essentially to leave these people on death row while you're now saying it's no longer allowed. In the state of Nebraska, as I'm sure you're aware, their legislature repealed the death penalty by a veto-proof majority and they did that, took that vote I think three times based on the, how they have to do it, so three times. But then when it went to the voters, they turned it over because right. they have that in, this, in their state. Right. If in Connecticut we had something like a statewide referendum and this issue were to come up, do you think that it would go the other way? I believe it would based on the polling. Certainly the, there's a difference between polling and who comes out to vote and make their voices heard. I think that that uh, would be one factor. Uh, but based on the polling, it's not as if it's a close margin. Yeah. Uh, so I would say based on polling it would pass and that the people would reinstate it. We spoke earlier about the cocktail needed. Uh, pentobarbital is one of the main chemicals that's used in this, but that's in short supply. Correct. And then some of the systems that have been used, the cocktails that have been used, have led to uh, the inmate on the table for a long time, gasping for air, clenching fists. We've all we've seen those kinds of uh, reports. Do you have a fear for what an experimental? cocktail would maybe even look like? You'd need it to be really buttoned up however the state would enact it? I, I would think so. I, mean, I think that the um, opportunities that other states are using, you would certainly look at states that are performing more capital punishments than we yeah. are to see what they're using, and then I would follow their leads. I, you wouldn't certainly want to blaze a new trail, as it were. Uh, in, in that sense, the, the courts have ruled on what is an acceptable cocktail. If that's not available, you would certainly need to come back with an alternative. Yeah. Uh, and I said, I would, I would look to the states, if it was reinstated, to the states that are performing capital punishment in a similar manner uh, and have had success uh, in acting that punishment and, and follow them. Got it. State Representative Mike France, thank you again. My pleasure. Face the Facts with Max Reese every Sunday, 10 o'clock. Thanks for checking out Face the Facts with Max Reese on YouTube. If you want more politics in your feed, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to be notified whenever there's a new video.